So this is a short video of the CMM Mitsutoyo machine at Sheffield Engineering Centre. As you can see, currently the X, the Y and the Z are locked, so none of this moves. If we unlock them, we can travel in the Y direction, the X direction mm -hmm. and the Z direction. Let's lock them off for now. So that's now staying still. Another point worth noting, we've got the a dryer in the compressor line to remove any moisture before it goes into the machine. Ken's powered up the computer that goes with the machine. So he's going to press enter. There we are. Now it immediately comes up with this Mitsutoyo screen. And now it wants us to reference the machine. So Ken's unlocked the X and we see it goes green so it's referenced the X axis. He's now moving it and referencing the Y and here's the Z and it goes to this screen then. There we are. So we're going to reduce, the, we're going to minimise that down and we'll minimise that one as well. And we're going to open the Mitsutoyo program and load a program for measuring Mitsutoyo, for measuring this little sp uh, spacer here. It's got a threaded end, it's got a taper, and it's got, well, an inch long section of the same, of the same diameter. I don't think there's a taper on that bit. Um, so, here we go, Cam. Back onto this. So, back onto that bringing up the previous program just press ok on that and then it will ask you for your name oh no, it didn't even ask you for your name so we've glued the part on as shown except we haven't because we haven't got any we haven't got any plasticine that's disappeared in the clearing out of the building so we're having to use blue tech today earlier test show it seems ok but it doesn't hold it in position quite as well so it's likely we'll end up with a lot more of the measurements we take being out of t showing the component to be out of tolerance. Anyway, let's get on with this, Ken. Okay. Okay, so we're going to press OK. We'll just OK that. And it wants us to place the probe, so you need to get it near the right hand side. And you're going to lock the Y axis once you're there. And you're going to take some measurements around that diameter to ascertain that diameter. So, do you, are you ready for it OK? Yep. Well then OK. Element finish. Splendid. And it's now going to ask us to do it, take another measurement. So we're going to we're doing the the same section just nearer the taper this time, Ken. So up there. Are you ready for an OK? Yep. Measure circle point one. Two. Three, four, element finish. Next, we want to do this uh, back end.